According to hygiene's principle, the monochromatic source of light illuminating the slit S sends out spherical wavefronts. Let the solid arcs represent the crests and the dark region represent the troughs. These wavefronts reach the slits S1 and S2 simultaneously which in turn become source of secondary wavelets. Since the waves emerging from slits S1 and S2 originate from the same source S, hence they are in phase or S1 and S2 act as two coherent sources. Constructive interference occurs at positions where crests of one wave falls on the crest of the other and trough of one falls on the trough of the other. At a point on the screen which is equidistant from each slit, the waves from the slits arrive in same phase. Therefore, constructive interference occurs at that point and a bright band is produced. Thus, at the center of the interference pattern, there is a bright band called the central maxima or the zeroth order interference maxima. Whereas, between the bright bands, a crest from one slit arrives at the same time as a trough from the other slit and a dark band is produced. Therefore, destructive interference occurs where the crest of one wave falls on the trough of the other wave. In general, bright bands occur where the light waves interfere constructively, dark bands occur where the waves interfere destructively.